All right, all right, all right. What is up, dude? Don't do that. This is Dude Diligent here. I know you guys have been chanting BBIG in Discord, on YouTube comments, on Patreon, just everywhere. I met someone today, actually. It was pretty funny. I was shopping in Whole Foods, and he was like, Oh, are you the YouTube that uh, talks shit about MMAT? And then... And then uh, your viewership backfired on you. I was like, I didn't talk shit on it. And I just don't really like the management team. He's like, oh, I really like your video, the factual angle of it. And I was like, yeah, I'd love some feedback. And he's like, why don't you make a video on BBIG? Because I really want to know what is going on. And I uh, happened that this guy actually joined our Discord channel today. Uh, you know who I'm talking about, which is <laughs> which really funny. I love it, honestly. Uh, Especially when, you know, people notice me in like public spaces. It can be a bad thing or a good thing. Back when I was 17, I published my first book. I, um, one of those like very heartwarming moments was I was in a library, a public library, and someone come up to me and be like, oh my God, I read your book. I was like, really? I only sold like 2,000 copies. And it's like, yeah, I really love it. The way how you like, you know, describe your high school life as, you know, how, how is it like the adjustment from international to someone who's still international but have a multicultural perspective? It's like, that's great. Anyways, let's get into BBIG. Let's explain why the heck BBIG, uh, well, let's just say dropped down by a lot on aftermarket yesterday or last night, whatever the perception of it. So the idea of this is actually very simple. So first of all, on this record day, by the end of this record day, CEO, CFO, management, management changes for BBIG. So BBIG went from a acquisition or merger centered company that have all of these smart people who are trying to come in and basically grab a quick buck, right? Here and there before taper happened or whatever. Uh, all of these people are gone now, okay? They're gone and then we have new management and then Basically, what happens is is the merger deal is gonna commence, you know, complete with a company called La Motif, I think. Um, details we can make a detailed video of the BBIG merger history. So basically, it functions like MMAT. For those of you who are MMAT fans, you guys know that MMAT also have a special dividend coming out, right? They just didn't explicitly say that they're gonna do a spinoff. Um, but for BBIG, they said that they're definitely going to do a spin-off, and then the state spin-off uh, name is TYDE. And according to my calculation, TYDE is hotter than BBIG because the crypto aspect of it. Okay, I spelled crypto wrong, dang it. So a lot of people on Reddit are saying TYDE is going to trade at $4. And then the thing is, people on Reddit don't understand how spin-off works. So if, let's just say if a spin-off company, so pre-spinoff pre-spinoff if pre-spinoff the company is six bucks post spinoff let's just say it's split in half okay uh tyde equals to three dollars and the new the motive which now is named zach i think zash or something like that is worth three dollars then this stock will worth three dollars and your tyde will be three dollars Depending on the merger deal of BBIG, which I still haven't got time to look at because today we're betting big on Tesla, which turned out that my prediction for Tesla earnings are correct on the fucking point. Sorry about my, uh, you know, shit talking or, or cursing. But the problem with that is even though I got it all right, it seems like market reacted late. So then I need to worry about state of the decay for tomorrow, but I'm very positive for the bet that I made today. But anyways, so let's just say, you know, th the same thing happened. So it really depending on the deal that on the SEC filing, you know, a lot of people are speculating that it's going to be oh, not not Jingo. Uh, we're going to make a separate video for Jingo. Um, a lot of people are speculating that one share of BBIG, one share of BBIG will give you one share of TYDE. That might not might that might actually not be true, by the way, guys. Uh, what is interesting about this thing is we gotta look at the Victor's Secret spin-off from Bad Bath and BBBY or BBY or something like that. Um, one share of the one share of that, one share of the old L brands, which is the before the spin-off, one share of L brands actually doesn't give you one share of Victoria's Secret. 
It doesn't work like that. It gives you one share of BBBY. So what you need to figure out or what we have to figure out is um, I need to go ask my community whether he, they want to add this stock as our daily sort of like a new sort of thing. So one BBIG equals to how many shares of uh, TYDE? Because we're mainly interested in TYDE on the crypto aspect of it. We don't care about the new company. So for those of you who are very curious about this Zash company or Zash company, or I don't remember it, Z-A-T-H or Z-A-C-H. What they do is they're basically like a TikTok but for dance videos, um, for music videos and dance videos. So it's it's pretty niche, okay. And if you go and if you go look at the revenue projection for let's just say a TikTok like music video platform, it's gonna be significantly less than TikTok. So then we have to figure out how much this company will worth and basically we want to subtract how much this company will worth and then we will get this company to worth. So a lot of people are saying this company worth $4, that means this company will worth $2, which is doubtable, which is also mm, that the management is not gonna wanna see. So how does that even relate to how we're gonna make money on BBIG? So first of all, this morning on stream, I talked about you should buy the $7 call option on the BBIG because I do think, you know, the $6 is basically the minimum price value but a lot of time when i say the minimum price value is basically the market fair value traded that people are supposed to converge to this point so six dollars is where um it should be converging to and today around 7 38 um some of you actually dumped a six a seven dollar call option you made about 15 percent on a day which is pretty good but a lot of you are still holding it uh, including me i actually added more 6.5 dollar and six dollar call options I'm betting on a rebound either tomorrow or the day after. Here's the reason. If you go and look at the SEC filing, this pop in mind. Basically what this uh, AK said, um, I don't remember what day is this. Uh, la, 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 filing date, where did you go? Filing date, I can't see the filing date. I'm retarded. Um, 19th, they filed yesterday. What it's saying is the spin-off company, um, basically the formation of the ticker of the spin-off company is gonna get delayed. So it was gonna be on the 20th, which is today, but it's gonna be delayed to the 22nd. And the latest you will see the spin-off ticker is on the 25th. So a lot of people are just disappointed at this news, plus the management changes. A lot of the good management all goes to the crypto company instead of um, right now the complete merger company. So basically, a lot of people are really worried about how many um, TYDE shares you're going to get per one BBIG. Or a lot of people are just pessimistic about whether they're going to give zero dollars. Basically, they're going to get zero dollars or shares of TYDE when BBIG merger is being completed or the spin-off deals has been completed. So if you guys want, I can put this as one of our daily sort of uh, SEC file alert less than, you know, daily news thing. But if the spinoff, usually what happens is, is before a spinoff happens, usually the stock will increase. If you think the, if you think the spinoff company is gonna worth a lot of money, then usually what happens is, is before a spinoff happens, you will have a couple of days of um, rally. And this is just very regular. I think what happens is tomorrow, it somewhat has to fill the gap a little bit more. Unless it goes down, then it, sh then it tells us that, hey, we're at the danger zone for a quick short squeeze on the 22nd. Um, and then because we all are just interested in the crypto con content or the crypto spinoff. So the actual BBIG company um, is not as attractive to us as the crypto thing. So we really need to figure out is what I need to do is I need to go back and look at general statements of all of these filings and figure out how much one share of BBIG will worth um, basically converted into the new merger um, crypto cryptide, right? So these doesn't tell us whether how much because the cryptide the record date for shareholders to receive crypto shares is on or about October 15th. So all of these got delayed. So the X dividend, the X dividend or the X share record date was very vague. And then they haven't communicate, communicate that really well to the shareholders. So right now, um, 
let's just sum up what happens, right? So if if the spin-off happens on the 22nd, then that means today and tomorrow, or tomorrow and the day after, we'll see a rally in BBIG. And then what our exit strategy is, we want to exit by the end of um, when the spin-off ticker comes out, and we want to basically convert all our money investing in BBIG into the new spin-off um, ticker, rather than actually continuously investing in this, because... Um, Basically, the Lamotive company, their business model uh, is a little iffy for me. Um, <clears throat> so that's one of the things that we need to um, think about. And another thing we need to think about is we want to figure out before spinoff, how much BBIG actually worth. So it's definitely not worth $5 because if it's worth $5, then the, the market will trade flat. So the actual fair market value for BBIG right now is $6. So when it hits $6, a lot of people is gonna buy it, and then this confirms with the data over here. Around six dollars, you have a lot of shares that cannot be fulfilled right now. So basically, we we if we're lucky, we can see a small short squeak happening tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, uh, leading up to twenty second. And what is interesting about twenty second is the twenty second is on a Friday, which just happens to be a option expiration day. You guys get it? Um, so this stock is gonna be on our emergency short squeeze list. And it's gonna be on our daily announcement list. I don't know how to say this. Because this 20% uh, drawdown looks awfully like MMAT before merger happens. Let me show you guys. So this is a very cautionary tale. If you guys are entering this, um, remember, small positions and small positions right uh let's go back to the dang it all my charts are getting destroyed because of that control z control z what did i what did i even do this is 6.8 where did that come from i don't remember how did i move this i don't remember where does this line goes i think it's like 6.74 sorry this is getting a little bit half that so Merger, merger, merger completion is on the 25th. And then you see this sharp, very sharp decline over here. Um, this might be the movement we're seeing right now. And BBIG might endure this huge pull down. But the problem with BBIG is the actual top value of BBIG right here is only nine bucks. So if it really want to go down, then what we are seeing is we'll go down to about $2. So we gotta time this real quick if uh, if it actually closes on the 25th, according to the SEC filing we see, right? So what we really want is, we somewhat just want the spin-off shares, we don't really want BBIG per se. So yeah, this is it for this video. I will make a cutthroat clean version of BBIG video um, because there's so many like factual evidence that a lot of people are not presenting to you. I'm just telling you about what I see from an SEC filing standpoint. Um, and if he, if the if they follow the FEC, SEC filing and then there's no further update on when the merger slash spinoff is going to be completed, then we're just going to go with the SEC filing and I will make a video tomorrow or today um, right after this video, give you a very simple version of what really this thing is about, right? What if, you know, spinoff is $3, what happens to BBIG old shareholders? All of that, okay? This is just a basic video information on, hey guys, like BBIG is gonna be on our radar and we think $6 is our fair value. If it goes down to $6 again, then hey, it might be a really good um, point to load up some options. And depending on when merger is gonna be completed, which we don't have full information on, then um we're gonna basically make our bets um uh, depending on that we either short this because you know whenever merger complete is and there's a spin-off there's gonna be a short period of time of uh depression on the stock volume people are trying to fall more into the new stock ticker so then that will be a really great idea to buy some puts um but right now if merger because the the actual merger deal haven't closed it cl haven't closed yet and the spin-off date is haven't really confirmed because it got delayed um and management basically are moving that means it's it's close the spin-off um date is close so if you guys are gamblers 
then buy some again we're not financial advisors we're not financial we don't give financial um, advices uh therefore everything we see on the channel is checks and giggles is we can make pre profit with six dollar call options 6.5 call options seven dollar call options on a very minimalistic period of time like you can just buy some i'm pretty sure like the seven dollars only worth 20 bucks right now you're just extending the 22nd we're betting on a short squeeze on the 22nd or we're betting that you know by 20 25th um the spin-off deal is going to be completed then we want to basically get out of this deal by the end of 22nd so this is the game plan here unless they delayed it again then we will see see you guys on the upside